Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. Um, I just wanted to show you what we did today. Um, we actually did this corner. Um, we put the two rectangular totes there which are for the peas and then that round one and that round one used to be over here. They're over there now for the beans, yellow and green. And then that one's for the cucumbers, used to be for my carrots. And they're all on a platform, which is good. And then I did that area, move you a little closer. So there, I moved things around and uh, spaced it all out nicely. Left some room over, over there. I left some room to pass. And then re got rid of some of the totes that were in the back there. Centered everything to the island in the middle. You can see my um, pile there, which that stuff's all gonna go back in the totes. Um, I still have to do the borage, which is there, and the peppers, which are over there. I'm sorry if the wind is causing static. Um, it is very windy, there's rain coming. And then if we go on this side, closer to the garage full of carport thinking maybe it'll be less wind here because I'm up against the building um, so as you can see right there where's my finger oh it's over there right there those tires that's gonna be the next project to get rid of so that I can put this container up against the bird sanctuary back there There you go, bird sanctuary. So what my plan is take that round blue container, put it on this side and then put the long one in the middle. I do still have that long one and that wooden platform. The one I was telling you about uh, on the last video where I make it with the two by fours. You can see the underside there. That's how I put it together. So the only thing exposed to the soil is the shorter pieces. And once they rot, they're easy to be replaced. But the other wood, excuse me, oh, I burped. Um, the other long pieces um, aren't touching the ground and is protected with the plastic so it doesn't get rotten as quickly. Um, I did remove those two plastic tiles there. Um, I may use that to do a little tanning area. I'm not sure. Um, I know that I don't like it underneath the totes, the barrels, and all those barrels have one under it. So two, four, six, I got eight more of those tiles. So, they weren't too expensive at the store, which is why I chose them over the concrete ones. Um, so I can always get a few more and make a little, little tanning deck, little tanning area. And so that's the next project. And all this plant material is gonna be going back in the containers when I go to enrich them and all these little containers they actually go on the deck like there's a whole bunch of little containers 
um, they're the ones I use to like decorate certain areas or um, to put on the deck to have flowers on the deck um, this platform with the long container that's going to be up against the bird sanctuary I'll need some of the bigger containers to put on the platform but other than that all the smaller ones are going to be going on the deck and yeah I just got to cut back all the growth so that vegetable area is all set up it's I did the like right now is the planting stage it's not the enrich the soil stage it's move things plan and get rid of the gar the old growth so that area is pretty much done it's, the totes are where they're going to stay for the rest of the year. So now it's just clean up this one. So my main goal is those tires. Um, found out that we can take it to the city landfill. Um, so that's what we're going to do once we empty them. Weather allowing, it'll be tomorrow. And um, get rid of a lot of these little containers onto the deck. Um, so I know what containers I have and then this should be open and ready for us to start a little fire in the fire bowl just a little fire nothing major I don't like big fires I like just little ones so that was today just to clean up I did put my Azalea out. You can see her right there on the deck. That's my azalea. Taking in the sun. Getting cool weather at night. And hopefully the cooler weather at night. It's not going below zero. But it is going down to like two three degrees hopefully that's enough cool air to get it to produce fruit or not fruit uh, flowers because the flowers are so beautiful I may have to take it in though it looks like some of the leaves are wilting a little bit so I probably have to take it in bring it back out tomorrow take it back in then the next day bring it out do that for a few days and then she should be good to stay overnight um, as I s said on the last video May 20th is our May long weekend which is four weeks away so in those four weeks um, basically what we do is set up the garden like I'm doing. Hmm. Um, then next week I'll start enriching the soil for the containers that I can plant now like my peas, my lettuce, radishes, like those cool colder weather plants. Um, I'm gonna have to do one of the tote lids with the um, tool for my mini broccoli, broccolini. Um, so those containers, I will start enriching the soil next week. And at the same time, I'll start planting the seeds of the cool weather plants. And then we'll wait till the May long weekend to start planting my seedlings that are inside. And then once the bulk of that is done, I can then plant the seeds for the warm weather plants that are direct sowed. Yeah, so I don't know what else to say. That's the wrap up from today. And... They say rain is coming, um, so 
This is, if it rains, I'll probably skip tomorrow. Um, but if it doesn't rain, I'll be out tomorrow to finish those tires. So I will let you go now. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you on the next one. And remember, do what makes you happy and everything else will fall into place. Bye for now.